So I was having a conversation with my friend, Finn Hanley, and I'm not going to go into the content of that conversation, but basically through that conversation, it became much more clear and apparent to me how easy it is for the human mind to go down trajectories that are bullshit, unhealthy, and misleading. If we look at human, humanity's, humanity's past, excuse me, <clears throat> many humans believe that slavery was okay or that gay people are evil. Even recently, gay marriage is wrong. We shouldn't allow two people who love each other to be able to get married. Like the human mind is very susceptible to perspectives that are ridiculous. And even today, and I'm not going to go into it because I'm not going to get political, but I do think there are some moral beliefs even today that are couched in righteousness that if analyzed objectively and beyond face value are absolutely absurd. So what is the point? The point is the, it, it's, it's remarkable. It is utterly remarkable the extent that the human mind can believe different things with conviction and passion that are so utterly illogical and nonsensical. But the human mind is very talented. So what it can do is it can create arguments and rationales to allow it to, to maintain some kind of respectability, even though ultimately it's inherently questionable and, and, and faulty. So what, so, so, Acknowledging this tendency of the human species, why would anyone in the Pentagon, why would anyone in the CIA, where human stability is important, right? It's inherently important that we maintain stability and, and predictability. Why would anyone in their right mind want to throw this into the, into the, into the pile, into the pot, so that, that, so that human beings have this additional level layer of complexity to contend with knowing how susceptible and malleable the human mind is to believe in absolute bullshit, but not just believe it, to be convinced of it, to be willing to die for it, even though it's inherently ridiculous. So this gave me some minor sympathy for some of the UFO secret keepers who were like, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't want to do it don't want to disclose. I don't agree with it, but I have a greater sympathy for it. On the other hand, there's, the, uh, there's another side of the argument. <clears throat> the other side of the argument is it really is not going to make much of a difference. There are so many things currently within the human zeitgeist that is leading humanity astray on so many levels, whether it's religious extremism or certain kinds of, of sociological dogmatism that doesn't really necessarily make sense, but swaths of people become committed to these dogmatisms that may be secular, but the, 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 the faith they have in the truth of these dogmatisms can be perceived in the same way that some people may have truth in dogmatisms of religion. Uh, I'm not gonna go further into that. I'm gonna leave it ambiguous on purpose and open to interpretation. But anyways, so I, I understand why some people would be so reluctant to put this into the human zeitgeist when humanity is so easily um, drawn into perspectives and beliefs that just don't add up. But, 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 but the human mind is so capable of creating arguments to support what they feel compelled to believe in, as opposed to taking a step back and saying, wait, does this really make sense? Like that's by that, that stage in the thought process is often bypassed because people feel an emotional draw to their certain belief system, if you will. But my counter to this perspective that the secret keepers of UAP may have is that throwing UAP into the pile is ultimately not going to make much of a difference. Because if anything, it would just, if anything, if anything, and this is important, all it would really do, and this is hypothetical because I don't know, we won't know until disclosure dawns, but hypothetically, all disclosure will do 
is it will take our minds from a lot of the stuff that we are susceptible to believing that is unhealthy and draw it in another direction to UAP where we might interpret UAP in an unhealthy way. But is it actually going to make things worse? I'm not convinced of that. I think it would just make us, our minds, which only has so much bandwidth, go from a lot of the bullshit in the zeitgeist to UAP, uncharted waters. Let's see where this goes. In fact, maybe I would argue we're so tribal, we're so unreasonable, we're so susceptible to perspectives that are unhealthy, that are divisive, but in the guise of unity sometimes, but ultimately divisive. We, we have these susceptibilities. We've, we've seen this where this goes. We know this path, like in the Matrix, when they were under that bridge and it was raining out and Neo gets in the car and he's like, he, he's like I want to get out, right? And then Trinity's like, Neo, you know where that path leads. You've been down that road. Do you want to really go there? That's disclosure to me. We, 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 we can, we can um, postpone disclosure because we, don't, we, we do not trust in the mind of men. But wait a minute. We already know where we're headed. Where we're headed is bad. I don't think it can get worse. Throw disclosure into, into the soup. Right? Throw that into the soup. Right, We got all kinds of potatoes and carrots and all kinds of spices. Now throw disclosure into it. Now maybe we'll start to ignore some of the stuff we're so preoccupied with that's unhealthy for the human mind. And now we're going to have to contend with UAP. Could it go down bad paths? Sure. But could it get worse than it already is? I just don't think so. I think it's worth a shot. But beyond that, of course, the reason <clears throat> the fear of how disclosure would impact humanity is not a sufficient argument is because you're going to destroy the republic. You're going to destroy the republic. That is more dangerous. That is more dangerous than how the human mind is going to navigate the reality of non-human intelligence. It's more dangerous to destroy the republic and to destroy the relationship between government and the governed. That's more dangerous. So no matter how you slice it, disclosure and disclosure soon, in my opinion, is the best path forward. Have a good one. Special thanks to all patrons, YouTube members, those that have bought merch, those that have given me one-time donation. I couldn't do without you. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.